if you spent time online and read comment sections of websites, you've no doubt seen some pretty vile, offensive comments written by anonymous people. Often these people are referred to as trolls. This particular troll created several controversial, many would say creepy and twisted, forums on the website Reddit. Violet Acres. Apparently he was the moderator of very, very creepy uh, subreddits. He'd been moderating Reddit chat rooms with questionable content, as well as posting his own offensive content with the hopes of creating a rise out of people, or as the trolls say, getting lols. At first glance, Michael Bruce seemed like your average suburban family man. He had a great job as a computer programmer, and before that he served his country in the Air Force. At home, he cared for his disabled wife and teenage son who was about to go into the Marines. To his co-workers, friends, and family, Michael was an upstanding member of the community. But on the internet, he was a complete degenerate. After a long day at work, Michael would wind down by going on Reddit and posting some of the most vile shit imaginable under his alias Violent Acres. And I know what you guys are thinking, degenerates? On Reddit? What's next, Italians in Italy? Well, this man was no ordinary degenerate. He was the biggest troll in internet history. I'm Dan Savius, how you doing? And this is the story of Violent Acres. Despite having a pretty decent life going for himself, Michael, like many of us, still felt empty. There was something missing in his life, so, like a lot of other lost souls, he joined Reddit. In 2007, he created his first account with the handle Ambrouche and quickly fell in love with the site. He loved that you could basically say whatever you were thinking. And it wouldn't be long until he started spending most of his free time browsing the forums, debating people in the comments, and of course, posting lots and lots of porn as one does. But he quickly realized that it probably wasn't the best idea to use his real name, so he created another account with the name Violent Acres, and this was basically the beginning of his villain arc. As Violent Acres, he started creating and moderating his very own subreddits. Some of his greatest hits included r slash incest, r slash misogyny, r slash choke a bitch, r slash beating women, r slash beating cripples, r slash raping women, r slash sexy abortions, the fuck? r slash she males, r slash pics of dead kids, r slash rape, and r slash Ohio. Listen man, we've all uh posted some things we were not proud of on the internet, but this is next level shit. Pretty much any depraved, messed up topic you could think of, this guy made into a subreddit. And these subs were created with one goal in mind, to piss off as many people as possible. You see, Michael had finally found what was missing in life. He found his real passion, and that was pissing people off on the internet, or trolling as the kids call it. And let me tell you, this man was basically the Michael Jordan of trolls. It was pretty much a daily occurrence. Some poor schmuck would stumble upon one of these subreddits, like beating women, for example, and they would become outraged. Then they would make a post crying about how Reddit shouldn't allow these despicable things on their website. The post would then get upvoted to the front page where it would cause even more outrage, and so on and so forth. And our boy VA really got off on this. It was a borderline orgasmic feeling to him every time some do-gooder took the bait and rage posted about one of his subs. I like to go out of my way to aggravate people, and that pretty much sums me up. Speaking of getting aggravated, you know what really aggravates me more than anything? Mother suckers who smell like ass. All right, there's nothing worse than walking past somebody in the supermarket and you catch a wave of booty hole scent straight to your nostrils. Like, I'm, I'm buying groceries over here and now my appetite is ruined. All right, let's be real. You've probably been that person. You probably are that person right now. That's why I partnered with Scentbird to put a stop to this issue. Now, I love Scentbird, man. They sent you an assortment of different colognes so you can try them out before you can commit to a whole bottle. And it's only 17 bucks a month for a full month supply of delicious fragrances, all right? Let's see, like, they sent me a box right here. Let's see what, let's see what we got, okay? So they sent them in these little, little, cool little carrying things. And, uh, all you gotta do is just take this off. Whoa. Michelle Germain, Sex Wall Noir. Let's see, I'll just do one of these. Ooh. Ooh. That smells like liquid sex, all right? There's no other way to describe it. Just liquid sex right there. All right, next up we got, uh, we got Burberry. Mmm. That smells like success. Next up we got Versace. And you know I love Versace, so let me just spray this one on my shirt. Ooh. Man, that smells so... Smells so clean, man. I, I love that smell. 
Your mother is going to love this one. If you're interested in smelling like a million bucks like me, use my coupon code Dantavius for 55% off at Scentbird. All right, now that I smell absolutely scrumptious, let's get back to the video. So while most of Violent Acres forums were made specifically to troll other Redditors, some of them were born out of pure degeneracy. The most infamous subreddit VA created, and the one that would eventually destroy him, was r slash jailbait, a forum where people posted pictures of scantily clad underage girls. As far as that particular subject goes, the jailbait reddit was started in honor of Britney Spears' first video, Hit Me Baby One More Time. <laughs> yeah! She was 16 years old when that video came out, and right. if that's not sexualization of a minor, I don't know what is. I don't recall anybody getting arrested in the, for the production or release of that video, and I seem to recall it being quite popular at the time. So, you know, I, I don't think that the sexualization of a minor, air quotes, is necessarily as bad as a lot of people would make it out to be. Despite being criticized for obvious reasons, this was one of the most popular subreddits on the whole site. At one point, it was the second most searched term on Google related to Reddit, with the first being Reddit. It even won subreddit of the year. Now, you guys have to remember, back in the day, Reddit was like a haven for free speech, nothing like it is today. You could basically post anything you wanted to as long as it wasn't illegal, and that includes photos of half-naked minors. In an AMA, Reddit's general manager at the time, Chris Martin, was specifically asked about these subreddits, and he responded, We're a free speech site with very few exceptions, and having to stomach the occasional troll Reddit like Pics of Dead Kids or morally questionable Reddits like Jailbait are part of the price of free speech on a site like this. So while Violent Acres was a pain in the ass for Reddit's administration, they also needed him. At the time, Reddit only had a handful of employees, so they depended on volunteer moderators to enforce the few rules they did have. And Violent Acres was an extremely effective mod. At one point, he was moderating over 400 different subreddits, and he was good at it too. So the admins made a kind of deal with him. He could do whatever he wanted to, as long as he kept anything illegal off the site. And this agreement led to him building close relationships with Reddit's higher-ups, including Chris Martin himself. But this close relationship wouldn't last long. The r slash jailbait subreddit had become too big. It started getting attention from the mainstream media, including the ghost of CNN himself, Anderson Cooper. Okay, I was gonna play a clip from this news segment, but it turns out that it's been completely removed from the internet, so I'm just gonna reenact it myself. <clears throat> hey, it's me, Anderson Cooper, the silver-haired fox. So, there's this website called Reddit, and on this website there's a forum called Jailbait, where a bunch of scumbags are posting pictures of underage girls. What the fuck is Reddit doing? You're just gonna sit by and let these people post this shit? What are you thinking? Oh, and don't even get me started on the schmuck who's running this forum. A guy by the name of Violet Acres. What a putz. This right here was the greatest moment in Violent Acres' life. He had reached heights that no other troll before him even dreamed of. He got a mainstream news pundit to you, mispronounce you his wait, name on primetime television. And not only that, but the jailbait subreddit was now more popular than ever. Anderson Cooper basically put out an advertisement to creeps all over the world that they could look at half-naked teenagers on this forum. And oh boy, did they come. Uh, no pun intended. I'm gonna come. Because of the influx of new people coming on the subreddit, it became much harder to moderate. And one post in particular would really get them in hot water. On October 10th, 2011, a post was made with the title, Repost of an Ex. She was 14 here, along with the photo of the girl. In another comment, he revealed that he also had pictures of her with no clothes on. And like flies to shit, dozens of depraved weirdos asked the OP to send them these photos. And apparently, he obliged. This outraged pretty much every normal human being, and this exchange made it to the front page via the WTF subreddit. This was the last straw. Reddit would officially shut down r slash jailbait the next day. And this was actually the first subreddit to ever get banned. And VA was not happy. But if you think that was enough to stop him, then you don't know shit. Just a few weeks after his favorite sub got shut down, he was named the most important person on Reddit by the Daily Dot. And he wasn't going to let one little setback stop him from being a degenerate. So he quickly got back on his feet and started moderating another horrendous subreddit, r slash creepshots, which featured photos of women taken without their knowledge. Most of them 
also being underage. But his notoriety started to catch up with him, and it wouldn't be long before Violent Acre's Empire of Filth came crashing down. On October 10th, 2012, Michael Bruch was having an average day at work. He wrote a few lines of code and then headed off to the restroom for his daily hour-long shit. When all of a sudden he gets an email from Adrian Chen, a journalist for the gossip site Gawker, asking if he wanted to do an interview. It wasn't unusual for him to do interviews, after all, he was the most famous troll on the internet, so he accepted. And they were having a nice chat for a while. Then the questions started to get a little weird. At one point, Chen said, It seems like you're not super careful about keeping your identity under wraps if you meet with people in real life. A lot of trolls I've talked to would never do that or give out as many details about themselves as you do. As soon as he heard this, VA realized he was caught. But before he had the time to shit his pants, his cell phone rang. It was Adrian Chen. Chen got a tip from one of VA's friends, a person he had met at an IRL Reddit meetup. Somebody he thought he could trust. But you can't trust nobody in this trolling game. So now Chen knew everything about Violent Acres. His real name, where he worked, even the shape of the birthmark on his ass cheek. And VA begged and pleaded with Chen not to release his real identity. He even said he would delete all his posts and promised to never go on Reddit again. But it was too late. Adrian was already dead set on exposing Violent Acres. A week later, he published an article titled Unmasking Reddit's Violent Acres, the biggest troll on the web. In it, he revealed that Violent Acres was actually a 49-year-old Michael Bruch, a software developer- Wait, we already knew this. I already said this at the beginning of the video. The article released a week later, and Reddit went into full-on damage control mode, going so far as to ban the Gawker article from the site. There was no point. Everybody knew now. Michael just had to hope his boss didn't find out. He was fired the next day. It was over. It was all over. Violent Acres was unmasked. He lost his job, his house, everything. The only thing left to do now was to try to clear his name and do some damage control. So he did an interview with CNN's Drew Griffin. I mean, this whole thing sounds, I gotta tell you, it sounds crazy. I'm a father of a daughter. I would be very mad at you. Reddit encouraged and enabled this sort of behavior, and I shouldn't have been a part of it. Nobody, you know, nobody on Reddit really, really had anything to say about it at all. I have come to understand that there are, you know, there are situations where, uh, you know, things are inappropriate. After this, Michael Bruch left Reddit for good. He hasn't been seen since. From what I can tell, he's laying low and trying to stay out of the spotlight. But who knows? He might still be out there somewhere, trolling to this very day.